We had no other uh, institution providing uh, education experience in uh, wine growing and uh, wine making. Prior to that, that, uh, that time, we re relied on this book, The Oregon Wine Grape Growers Guide which was written entirely by the industry. There are no scientists writing articles in here. When I retired from Chemeketa, I talked to the president and said, you know, I'd really like to teach a class in vineyard management and let's see what would happen. And of course, I was given a lecture actually at that particular point. Don't think for one minute we're gonna be able to having a full program because we can't afford a full program. I said, okay, but let's try it. So we offered it as a community agricultural program non-credit. Well, the first night we ended up with so many students we had to turn them away. And so then the next term we had the same issue. And so the third term we did get another instructor and she taught an advanced course. But again, in the fall, we offered the program again and the same thing we were absolutely uh, overwhelmed with the number of students and i think for so many people who were in their 30s 40s and 50s this was a place to draw on this resource uh, to learn things that, that we really needed to know in a formalized way uh, you can always read a book but it's great if you have a teaching vineyard out there you can go out you can walk around you can see this the, the vine through the season we started this out and we only thought of a viticulture program. Vineyards, that's all we thought. Well, a little bit later, and we added the wine making, the enology portion, and it took off. And then we started getting students from around the United States. We've had students, international students, come to take this program because we specialize in cool climate viticulture. They can get an experience here that they can't get anywhere else. The Wine Studies program started with um, creating programs in grape growing and moved on from there as the industry grew and has continued to serve the needs of the industry by keeping really in touch with the industry and knowing what the needs are for, for current education and experience. We have 19 um, active industry people that sit on an advisory committee. We meet quarterly and we talk about current trends and issues that are um, present in the industry and they give us feedback on our curriculum and that relationship is very important to our program and the support that we get from those voices um, in our industry advisory committee are critical to decisions that we make. It has continued as the industry has grown to be a, a really valuable resource for the wine industry. I know it would have been a big help to me back in 1983 if it had existed. I went to a lot of workshops and did a lot of reading about grape growing, but um, having these kinds of classes and experiences would, would have been wonderful. I know it's been very helpful to those who have entered the industry since. Being able to walk out of the classroom into a vineyard and look at not just Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, but a whole bunch of other experimental varieties that are happening right now. Um, and then step back into the classroom and hop into the lab, pipette a few things, work on learning your free SO2s and what, what actually the science behind the winemaking. And then hop out of that and go straight into the cellar. It's pretty awesome. Some of the most recent changes in the Wine Studies program that are very exciting um, include our new faculty. So in the last two years, we've brought on two new full-time faculty. I'm also really proud of our adjunct faculty. Um, we have a great team of adjunct faculty who all of them work or are involved in the wine industry. And so it's very exciting to have them come and teach classes and be interacting with our students and helping them make that connection to the wine industry. The future looks bright. We have a strong, strong group of faculty and instructors. It's just, it's wonderful. I think that the program provides not only education, but great opportunities for networking for people who are in the program and for people in the industry. Chemeketa allowed me to receive a degree while propelling me further into the industry because I had a lot of experience working in the cellar and in the tasting rooms, plus an academic background. And that is really kind of key. As good as it was for me, it's only gonna be better for the people after me in this program.